So I'm going to give you an update on the dust cover bags. I um, made a mistake because you know we love mistakes, right? And I stitched the side seams shut without making the opening for the drawstring. And when I did that, I thought, oh, you know, I, I really didn't like that hole in the side anyway. So what I'm going to show you next is how I do them now which is closing up the side seams and then turning the top um, the top opening so that it turns wrong side out and then it's folded over on the outside and then the opening for the drawstring is going to be out on the top piece. So I'm going to put the side seams together and put it together and show you how that goes because it's so much easier and it looks really good too. I'll be back. Okay, what I did is I sewed wrong sides together. I surged them together. Now you don't have to surge them, but the reason why I surge, as I've done this a million times, is the serger cleans up all those threads. When you're using muslin, there are a gazillion threads. You don't have to do it that way, but I do. If you're not gonna serge it, you're still gonna wanna sew um, um, wrong sides together first, and then you wanna trim off all those threads. So first I sew wrong sides together, serge them, and then I turn it uh, right sides together, all right? And then I stitch it at about, this is about a three, three eighths inch seam allowance. So what I have here now is right sides together, three eighths seam allowance, all the way up on all three sides. I have also surged this seam just because, again, I get rid of all the, the raw edges, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it, or wait, am I not? Okay, no, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press this seam down here about a quarter of an inch so we get a clean edge all the way around the top, okay? And then I'm going to press it down another one inch. Let's do this. Let's turn it right sides out. Okay. So that you get a better visual. Normally I would do this with an overhead camera, but we're not doing that right now. I probably will film the next one with an overhead camera. So here we are. Here's the front of the bag. Okay. So we're going to turn this back side to a quarter of an inch press it am I doing this right yeah sorry we're turning it the opposite direction okay so we're turning it a quarter of an inch down like so we're turning it towards the right side this whole thing is going to roll towards the front and then we're going to turn it a quarter of an inch down towards the front. You see how I have it? So it's all gonna tour, turn in towards the front. And then we're gonna stitch it down and we're gonna leave an opening here on the side for the drawstring. That's what's gonna happen next. So we're gonna turn it down a quarter of an inch towards the front on the right side and then press it again like so, clip it down, and stitch it all towards the front. This is what's different, because the old way I did it was the, the drawstring was coming out the side seam, and this is just so much faster, and so much easier. And you can't see, you can't tell. I mean, it looks, it looks very clean, like so. I'll be back and show you what it looks like. I'm gonna show you this again. <laughs> I filmed this and I lost it. So I'm just gonna show you, we'll pretend this is a whole bag. So this is the um, 
the one quarter inch turned under. This is gonna be the right side of the fabric, and then it's one inch turned over towards the right side. So I am putting my foot right along the edge, and then we will um, get this going, and you're gonna to get to see me sew right along the edge. I just keep the clips in because they're not in the way. And basically this is just gonna go on the right side, and because you can't see it here, but on the ends, because our seams are finished, um, it's okay that, that you see it. This is a raw edge, but just remember that our seams are finished. So when, when it comes up here and the seam is finished, it doesn't matter and that's the magic of it. So basically we're sewing right along this edge and I just clip the seams in place. And this, is going to show so that the opening for the drawstring is going to be stitched down on the on the right side on the front side so um, it looks really good I mean you can't you can't tell so the drawstring is going to go through this opening right here okay I think I showed you this tool in my last video it's called a bodkin and it's really good for threading the um, drawstring through the, through the opening. Also, I am now using a less expensive drawstring just because these dust covers I don't want to put a lot of money into. And I, I have a bit of a mess of it. <laughs> I guess I could take the time. It's kind of like yarn. So the other... The other drawstring, if you're not making a lot of them, the other stuff is far superior because it's really stiff. This is um, stretchy, and I really didn't think it was gonna be like this when I got it, but anyway, it's a lot cheaper. You get two bundles of it, um, so it is what it is. So I'm gonna put a link for it in the description box. And it also, I ordered the, these, and these were a lot smaller, but I love the double the double openings instead of putting, I, I think I may have even used two of them. So these kind of go with this because these are smaller. So I'll put a link for these two. It just, if you're making a lot of them, it's just a lot cheaper. When I put the bags in the dust cover bags, I don't even close these. I just leave it open. I just put them in there, leave it open, and then put them in the box for shipment. So anyway, that's the other update, um, but, this is kind of a mess. I just basically, I just cut and, and I probably get, when I get to the end, I'm gonna have a bunch of short ends, but that's another update. It just saved a lot of money because the other stuff I went through really fast. So anyway, the bodkin, you just slip it through the hole, make a knot and slide this through the opening. And then when I get to the end, I just cut this and then take that out. So um, yeah, so here we are at the end. Um, then we, uh, this is the only part, it's like threading a needle, putting it through these little things. So you have to press, see, and there it goes. Um, you press on these, and when they're small, it is, it's like threading a needle. And I will not probably do it on the camera. <laughs> So anyway, these go through the holes and then it's done basically. So that's what it looks like on the outside. So see, I think it looks just as good. And then it comes through here instead of out the side seam. And that's how it'll be when it's done. Lots faster. There's one thing I wanted to add on the end of my video. I think y'all noticed that I include mistakes and I laugh and I make fun and I talk about growth. Three initials, ABL, always be learning. Um, I don't attach my self-esteem to being right. I attach my self-esteem to growth and, and to be learning all the time. So, I'm not about 
you know, I'm not about being right and about correcting anyone. I really, really focus on growth and I love it. And you know, it hurts, it stings when we make mistakes, but that is what makes us better. That's where we learn and that's where we become better people. And um, that's what I'm all about. That's what my videos are about. Because if you, if you place all your self-esteem on being right, you're you're always going to be in pain and it's it's nowhere to be. I mean, it's just devastating all the time. But if you place it on growth, your life will be limitless. Really. It can be scary, but it can be so exciting. And that's why I want to encourage each of you to take risks and to ask questions and to say, "Hey, how do I do this?" Um Having a growth mindset over a fixed mindset is just a completely different life. And that's what my page is about. Sewing is part of it. And I never believed as a young girl that I'd be doing what I'm doing now. And that's why I'm authentic on my page. I want you to know that I make mistakes um, because that's so important. So that's what I wanna share with you today. Miss y'all, see you next time.